Holy cow! Yad Guru Road Adu! Oh, fuck! Where did we come from? Apparently this is a national highway. Phew! What's up guys? Good morning! We are headed back to Bangalore and uh, we just started a while back. This is the same road that we came by while coming to Munar in the night. So yeah, it looks absolutely brilliant. Actually, I missed that beautiful moment where I saw the, the, the four to five guys who just passed. Apparently, everybody was looking at us and smiling. And uh, Shoma is getting used to all of this now. Oh, they're doing it on purpose. I think this is all forest fire. You see on the left? Oh no. This is the stream that we saw from up above. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. Yad Guru Road Adu. Oh, fuck. Where did we come from? Apparently this is a national highway. Phew. I so wanted to record the footage, the road in which we came through. There! We went all the way down and all the way up here. But I absolutely had no time to even switch on the GoPro. Okay. Fuck.
Okay, I think all the coolness is gone. Slowly beginning to feel the heat. As our Sanchari boys would say, Juice Riti Dia. Okay, there is something coming, but safe to overtake. Oh, these guys, I tell you, the Kerala and Tamil Nadu bus drivers, oof. they've got immense control and they ride and they sort of have control on the other people's lives also that is in the opposite direction you know when we started our journey um, I mean when I started to roll the footage now I saw a blue Maruti car and there it is I was so so far away when I could look and we've caught up with that car I'm sure people watching here would have driven this compact legendary car first car that I drove was this one it was a 88 year old sorry 88 uh, manufactured here used by my grandfather, my uncle and I started learning with that Whoa! I'll come back to that story gonna enjoy this view Woohoo! So yeah, coming back to Maruti 800 You know, um, we had a driver uh, who carry us around for a while um, I always wanted to learn this is way back in 2007 or 8 I don't remember exactly I remember the instance where the driver went out for lunch and I wanted to learn I mean I knew how to ride a bike and one of my friends had taught me that of course it's a mechanically you know everything else it's the same logic shifting gears and popping clutch sorry not popping clutch but using the clutch so I took the car for a spin and it went straight square and I did it successfully on the first go and I wanted a little more so those days I used to see in Banchankri second stage in Bangalore sorry Bengaluru so I stayed there for 31 years of my life and uh, in Banchankri second stage there is a BDA complex a lot of people would be aware about it so I went all the way up there and uh, there is this road which is a little uphill right from um, you know J-Cubes or Ravi Gobi up towards Kibbs College right there uh, it didn't hit me that I have to you know lower the gear if I am climbing up so I sort of created a traffic jam and I was nervous and shooting brakes but I managed to you know uh, come out of it and I was so confident same night called my friends and we went to Nandi Hills for a night drive believe it or not that was my first ever long drive and that it was the same day that I learned how to drive so yeah that's the story about 800 thought I should tell you because I just saw that and there were a lot of memories with that yeah we've almost hit the bottom of the hill yes so that's the end of guard section Oi, shooters everywhere oh huh? fuck hey auto what the fuck did he do there hey fuck Yes, we are almost, rather we are on the highway, we just have to join the highway. Uh, it's about uh, half past two right now. On the way we witnessed a lot of heroes on the road, huh? 
so there was uh, Michael Schumacher's of the road there was Valentino Rossi's of the road hmm strange thing is that whenever there is an intersection I've been taught to slow down look left look right and then go but here our heroes nip Usually when there are uh, when, when you get into highways, I'll be really happy because uh, my bike Z900 uh, can tackle anything on the highway, right? But it's a strange feeling now that uh, the off-roading and uh, riding amongst the hills and single rain roads, you know, all that's over. And now it's just a uh, four-lane highway and after Salem it will be six-lane highway. Just like this. good uh, stretch in the last one hour covering close to 108 kilometers in the last one hour yeah so 350 is when we left uh, where we finished lunch and the distance to Bangalore was 319 now it's 457 and 211 was when I told you now it is 210 so we had our refreshments and uh, Bangalore is about Kitna, 165 kilometers. Yeah, I love this stretch. Sometimes I come to this part of the state, you know, for breakfast rides on my Z900. I absolutely love this stretch. Especially the small hilly areas that we get a little ahead. They can do twisties. Really good. Really good roads. One good thing that I've observed in Tamil Nadu is that they put barricades as well as these reds lights that you see. And I really appreciate the government for these roads just lit up in the night. Now this red, it, uh, it may not seem as a slow road. But trust me it is, look at the pace of the lorry in which it's going. You know, yeah, what I was talking about. There you go. Lord, oh, prime example, up ahead. They really struggle to get going on these terrains. And uh, bikers like us, oh, oh heroes, off-roading, ah. So we made some decent ground when we started the day Google auntie was saying uh, we would reach home by around uh, 9.15 and in spite of all our breaks, lunch breaks, breakfast and uh, refreshment breaks and all that we still estimated to reach it around 9.09 that is home 